In this guided talks, Robert interviews Anton Schulka of SEM Rush. A mathematician by education, Anton is now head of influencer marketing at SEM Rush and the brains behind all of their informative webinars. Robert and Anton discuss webinars, live or recorded, experts as ambassadors, core audience growth as the key PI, how to create awareness and how to differentiate your webinar, plus much more. Hello and welcome to the Guide of Talks, the Guide Initiative Talks, uh, where today I'm absolutely delighted to have as a guest Anton Schulke. Hello Anton, how are you? Uh, hi Robert, uh, I'm fine, thank you for having me. It's an absolute pleasure. So uh, without further ado, for those of people who don't know about you and don't know about the business, Anton, would you just like to give us a quick introduction about, about you and the business? Uh, okay, I'll start with uh, slightly backwards. Uh, most of the time, uh, in the in, uh, while I've been in the industry, I was doing uh, video live events, which people call webinar. We don't like for webinar actually. Uh, webinar for SEM Rush. SEM Rush, well, one of the biggest SEO tool producer. And you can see. I don't know if people can see video. I, I'm wearing SEM Rush uh, T-shirt today. Uh, but before that, I was doing webinars for very uh, small Ukrainian. I live in Ukraine, by the way. Uh, a Ukrainian uh, company on the SEO digital marketing, uh, and I think I think I've got some some result there. It's why I moved to SEO Russia eventually because uh, five years ago I didn't really know what I was doing when I started doing it SEO webinars or content marketing webinars. But I'm, I was very very lucky. I managed, but basically on the first uh, season, if you can say it, I, I managed to get uh, Barry Schwartz, uh, Ren Fishkin. Uh, Joe Pulitzer, which really made incredible impact on me, Joe Pulitzer content marketing. And eventually we, we got good Google. We, we have a series of uh, Google, Google uh, questions and answers. So um, now I'm doing uh, not really video events. I'm doing uh, influencer marketing uh, uh, marketing for SEM Rush. But for my uh, mind, I think video, live video events is such a great tool for influence marketing. So I thought I always were doing influence marketing. So um, you said to me when we last spoke that five years ago, you knew nothing about SEO. Uh, absolutely true. I, I think I just, just repeated this. I think I started in 2015 doing my first webinar on SEO. And I, okay, the only thing I know what SEO stands for. That, that, was, that was it. <laughs> So, so, so tell, tell me more about, about the, the philosophy behind webinars, because especially right now, uh, when offline events in hotels clearly aren't happening, uh, and everyone's rushed online, they're doing various webinars. Now, there's, what I find interesting about webinars is they do you charge, don't you charge, do you sell, don't you sell, do you educate? Don't you educate? What do you do with the names of the people you get? Do you only do them live? Do you do them recorded? So there's a whole, there's a whole philosophy behind webinars. And I guess you're, you're five years ahead of everyone, pretty much everyone, because you've been thinking about it and you've been tested, presumably A-B testing the different formats. Uh, yeah, and, I, and I've seen other people doing a very different things, what we were doing. Um, as I said, I was under influence of um, Joe Pulitzer, and Joe Pulitzer, uh, I remember he, he was doing a webinar with us, uh, and he was explaining what he thinks it, content marketing and influencer marketing should work. Uh, he thought, and I, 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 pers uh, I completely agree with him, and I said, it's more, no, no philosophy, it's more religion than philosophy for me. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so what, what he was saying is uh, you have to grow your loyal audience. This is a main thing for content and for webinars as well. Webinars even more because it's very interactive and everything. Uh, grow up your loyal uh, audience before trying to so get your trust uh, first and after that you can sell them and everything. But for example, talking about webinars themselves, I don't think webinar is a great tool to sell anything. 
or okay you can sell if people already want to buy your product and they just just know how to work this button that but maybe maybe it is good but it's a very very uh, loyal or warm audience uh, when people trying to uh, get new audience they will be, and after they're selling it i think it's wrong maybe maybe i would uh, uh maybe not everyone agree with me but i think webinar what we're trying to do we're trying to grow up our loyal audience by what by first not selling anything so because i've seen so many times you, you get people you try to sell them and they're not ready to buy and they just say why why we're not here we don't want to be on a sales pitch so uh if they're not ready to sell a uh, pitch it's, it's kind of coldish audience or not audience ready to buy we try only to sell knowledge of our experts and knowledge which helps people so by knowing our so for example smrush audience is very very practical one uh if uh my audience before that was very more like more theoretical because we're more experts uh in the audience audience was much narrow but more experts, experts they really like to talk and everything. Now our audience is very big, uh, but mostly people who are running their own business, they unfortunately, unfortunately, they don't have to time, they don't have time to for academic speeches and everything. They want really after 60 minutes of webinar, they want something very, very uh, tangible, very usable. So we, we know that it's what we're trying to give it to them. And for us, at the end of the day, it's not a webinar whenever it was a lead generation or sales uh, tool for us. The main, one of the main, I uh, said another, another second one as well. One of the main was uh, how many people will come back. So, and for major metrics was uh, what we call core audience. So people, for example, who are within two months, uh, at least twice I went to our webinar and we will look at this core audience and see how it's effectively growing or shrinking. And this was our uh, main metrics for webinar. So we're trying to build a loyal audience. But of course we have another thing, another thing for webinar uh, as well, another aim. Uh, because uh, we think our loyal audience it's not flat. It's not only people who eventually we want to sell our product. Yeah, let's let's be absolutely uh, transparent. We eventually want to sell our product, but not not on a webinar. But we think it should be double tier. So the big audience and the people who are inside the webinar room is our loyal audience as well. At least we want to try to convert people our experts we always use uh, external experts external hosts we don't use our own employee they're already loyal to us we think uh, and so we want to convert our experts into a loyal audience for us to into loyal experts because we think it's extremely important uh, because this is influence marketing is why we think i think uh, a webinar a live webinar is extremely good uh, tool for uh, is influencer marketing too because it's much easier of course to try to steal your soul robert for example if we were sitting down and having coffee and seeing each other and everything it is easy no doubt about that but it's much more uh you, you need more resource because you need to travel and go to conferences we're doing this but for example nowadays it's, it's impossible so nowadays the only the only way we can communicate is by by zooming like that and it's what we're doing with webinars so we're doing tests as well and when we're doing tests it's not only about technical tests and everything it's about to know our influencers our speakers more and eventually to find what what really they like and eventually to uh, please them it's uh, one of the legitimate targets as well um when you said about life non-life and everything yeah i i personally i have religious belief in a live webinar so for example uh yeah, you're smiling when i said religious but because well, it's not really proven i can't really prove you that life is much better and i've seen many companies they have a pre-recorded webinar and they send it as a live and someone sitting in a live chat and, and and it makes impressions that it is live we don't do it we, we, we don't see a point of that um so uh, uh 
uh, live webinar is complete, I think is completely different anymore because it's a 60 minutes video uh, to sell, yeah, I'm, I'm using inverted commas, to sell um, 60 minutes video of not really structured, because webinar is not very structured video. To sell it later as a recording, it is very, very difficult and hard job. Usually you make it easier and you, 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 you put timestamps so people can only watch a particular thing. But life is a different story. Uh, in a live webinar, uh, people engage, they ask questions, they get answers from a screen and all this kind of stuff. So we only do live webinars, even recording later is available. We also, as I said, we never sell anything besides the knowledge of our experts. Because what we try to do, we try to, and, and we try to be slightly behind this. We don't try to say, we don't, we never tell experts, okay, you have to mention SMR, you have to use SMR. If they do, Fantastic, we love them. But if they don't, if they, if they selling an uh, issue uh, with other methods, well, we don't want to see competitive tools either, I have to be honest. But uh, if they can sell it without this, SMRush does, they don't need SMRush to sell the problem, well, it's fine, we, we don't mind. The main thing is to show our audience, okay, guys, use this, this works. And uh, you didn't spend this, you didn't waste the 60 minutes on a webinar. Uh, so that they have something, uh, something in there and that they can use it. So we expect them coming back and we get trust. This is the idea.